This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. The former Lansing School Superintendent is apologizing for calling a woman troubled because of her allegations against the district's top candidate for superintendent, according to a report from the Lansing State Journal. Casey Sturl is accusing acting superintendent Mark Coscarella of locking her in a room, stripping in front of her and dancing. I'll never forget the feeling that day when I was trying to open that door and he looked at me and said, don't open that door. That's when I found out that the door was locked and I'll probably never forget that sound for the rest of my life. Coscarella also resigned from his position with Holt Schools in 2002 after accusations he provided or allegedly allowed students to watch pornography on a baseball trip. The report says Yvonne Kamal Kanul apologized to Sturl in a letter Friday afternoon. In, in an October 31st interview with the Lansing State Journal, Kanul called Sturl, quote, troubled, accusing her of looking for her 15 minutes of fame. The letter comes after Sturl's attorney asked for some kind of apology at Thursday night's school board meeting. A local Lansing woman celebrated her 100th birthday on Sunday with a big bash. Frances Valenti turned 100 on Monday, but got her birthday celebration started a little earlier with family and friends by her side. The trick to living to be 100, Valenti says that she did this with an active lifestyle. My husband and I were big square dancers, Valenti said. That's what we do a lot of square dancing, round dancing, ballroom dancing. Her husband died at 96 and was a World War II veteran. They were married 72 years. Even her square dance partners joined in on the celebrations. We used to square dance with them and every time after the dance was over, she would say, let's go get a waffle, Ardeth Locke said. Valenti said that she had a happy birthday and that she wouldn't change her lifetime with anyone. A fire forced several people out of their East Lansing home on Monday morning. Firefighters were called to a report of a fire at the Cambria townhomes on Cambria Drive just after 3 a.m. At least one townhome sustained damage. A catabus was called to the scene to provide shelter for people forced from their home by the fire. There were no immediate reports of injuries, and on Monday morning, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. As you can see, we have gotten some snow already, and there's a few things that you as a homeowner can do to prepare for a snowy winter. Clear any leaves from the gutters and clear out the nearest storm drain to prevent ice dams from forming. Michigan State Police say that homeowners should weatherproof their homes by insulating walls, windows, and doors. Lock in a propane rate now and have a backup heating plan, like a generator or fireplace. Homeowners should have their furnace inspected by a professional and they should also get their air filter checked because it needs to be changed every two to four months. Check the batteries in your carbon monoxide detectors because police say that carbon monoxide poisoning is more common during the colder months when furnaces and portable generators are running. State police also recommend having an emergency kit stored safely in your house that includes water, food, a first aid kit, a flashlight with extra batteries, and most importantly, plenty of extra blankets and warm clothing. Cars also need some upkeep before winter hits. Cars go through a lot of wear and tear throughout the year, so it's important to make sure everything is up to speed before winter gets here. The best tip is to make a checklist of everything that needs to be checked. Great examples of what should be replaced are your wiper blades if they are old and refill your wiper fluid. Replace worn tires and check air pressure. Stay please also suggest checking the car battery, heater, oil, and exhaust. Learn more about all of these in all MidMichigan's breaking news on Fox47news.com.